All right, boys, welcome back to Yo Spills. So tonight, for the video, what we are going to do is get to tearing apart the CSX. So if you guys are new to the channel, don't know what this thing is, this is a 1987 Carroll Shelby CSX. It does not have the original interior. It doesn't even have the whole body kit. There's a whole body kit that belongs on it that uh, is actually over there on the wall. Uh, we never painted it or put it on, uh, so. But you can see right here, Carroll Shelby, the number car. So the motor setup in this car is actually a Dodge Caravan 2.4 short block with a Mitsubishi Eclipse 420A head. It's basically like a high flowing SRT4 setup. It does have pistons and rods. It does have a set of Crower cams and everything like that uh, with a custom manifold and of course custom turbo manifold. Big old Borg Warner, but like I said, if you haven't watched the old videos, this car had an oiling issue when we put it together because we put the head gasket on backwards or actually flipped around because it goes both ways, but it only actually goes one way. And uh, so we're gonna tear it apart tonight and see what we actually damaged. Hope you guys enjoy and uh, hope you guys are being safe with the coronavirus, practicing social distancing. Uh, I believe almost every state is on lockdown now, so be safe out there guys. All right guys, so at this point in the video, transmission, motor, all the accessories, clutch, flywheel, mounts, CSX. So basically I've had you on time lapse the whole time so far, showing you three different, four different angles, axles out, suspension apart, uh, motor, all the accessories, turbo kit, everything off. Uh, the only thing that we actually left in the car is the intercooler. Uh, if you notice, we did pull all the wiring out of the car and the uh, fuel rail and fuel setup because we're also upgrading the fuel setup on this car and we're going to have uh, our friend Steven 
wire up a MS3 Pro. If you guys don't know what an MS3 Pro is, it's a standalone Mega Squirt 3 Pro. It's the basically the best of the best that's out right now that we can adapt to this car and make it run perfect. So the main reason why we're actually, you know, taking this all apart is to check for the noise and make sure everything's 100% before we get the Mega Squirt 3 all wired in, wired up, and then there's something wrong with the motor. So now let's get back to some time lapse. We're gonna get the motor on the engine stand. We're gonna tear the whole motor down, make sure thing, everything is good. Clutch looks good, transmission, we already knew it was good. Um, manifold and stuff all looks good. Turbo still good, no smoking, no nothing. Um, if you guys don't know, this is a 2.4 420A uh, conversion. Uh, it's pretty simple. Once I get the motor apart, I'll show you the big, smalls, little stuff you have to do. Uh, it's pretty simple. So back to time lapse. Hope you guys are still enjoying and uh, leave down in the comments below what you think of the CSX. All right guys, so I started pulling the motor apart to see if I could find any reason for all the crazy noises in the bottom end. And I literally pulled this water pump off and look what's in the water pump housing. There's a spring just sitting there. And you can see, I don't know if the camera will zoom in on it, but it's been rubbing on here for a long time. And the only reason I figured something was in there is because I was spinning the water pump and you can see there's nothing hooked to it. There's no reason why it shouldn't spin freely. And literally it would not turn. Like it would it would barely turn and then I would have to spin it real hard to get it to turn the other way. If you guys are wondering what this is from, if you buy those cheap AutoZone hoses or whatever and they have this flex joint inside of it, that's exactly what this is. One of those flex hoses came apart, got sucked into the water pump and uh, that's not any good for it. If you look down here in this oil pan, I don't know how well you can see in the video, but uh, we're definitely gonna be checking all the bearings because that's nice and uh, metallic-y gray. So while I'm over here tearing this motor apart, the Fiat, I know you guys seen the video on it not too long ago, is getting a nice little liquid molly, fancy oil change. This thing is crazy because it has one of those little uh, filters that you literally put an, ex uh, an extension through here, you take your intake pipe off, and that's how you actually get to the oil filter. So, got the oil change going on over here while we're still tearing down this motor. Hope you guys are enjoying the time lapses so far. Um, you're gonna have to pull all the bearing caps just to make sure, but that is very interesting that a water pump ate the spring. Back to the time lapse. All right guys, so this will be the conclusion of what happened to the CSX motor. And uh, I got the pistons, the head and the oil pan set out here so we can go through and just give quick looks at everything. Uh, if you look at the head, you can see damage marks here, 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 here. If you look in the oil pan, we got our nice metallic gray 
all bearing material. If you look at the bearings, those shouldn't have all those marks on them. But they actually still fit tightly in the rod, and there's no black marks on the rod, so the rods are still good. It just messed up the bearings. But then if you take a look at the pistons here, you see how it looks like it got sanded? This one got sanded too. This one. This is the same as the first three. Then we get to the fourth one. And here's the real damage. So we had that spring in the water pump. And then this piston was actually eating the cylinder wall. They actually all were eating the cylinder walls. But uh, now let's go over here and look at the cams and the cam caps. And the cams actually, to be honest, don't look that bad. You pick the cam up here. You can see a little bit of scoring, but it's not too bad. I wouldn't rerun them. I would actually send them to see if they could get fixed or polished or something like that. But they, compared to the rest of the motor, the cams don't actually look that bad. But now once we get up here to more of the internal parts of the motor and head, you can see that cap right there is, looks absolutely destroyed. This one too. This one too. That one's not too bad. So we're gonna be uh, going on to building a different motor for this car. We, this thing had its fun. <laughs> the old Bonnie purple motor I uh, actually built or put this short block together before I even started the YouTube channel. Uh, we did the first startup on the YouTube, but we actually put the block, I'm pretty sure, together before we even started it. So, RIP to the first motor on the channel. <laughs> well, I can't say that. RIP to the first motor that we've taken back apart. I blew up the DA motor twice, it just lifted the head, but it didn't actually break anything. So, RIP Barney, you were fun. So, this will conclude the video for tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave down in the comments below what you think about all of the damage due to lack of oil in the head during a startup. And uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Until the next one, as always, you guys are the best.